Previously on Solo TV 84, live from the field during the Minneapolis George Floyd riots. I can point a cop out any day out in this motherfucker. All right. Now, I appreciate you doing this interview. I know, know right now this is scary, but my, my channel, Solo TV 84, it's a big YouTube channel, so we we go get it. on Facebook and Instagram. Solo, Solo TV 84, facts. Follow us on Facebook, 200,000 followers, Instagram 35. Hey, let's go. I got one more I got one more question for you, I, I promise. Uh -huh. Do you think this will cause any change? Or will, will this, uh, or is this going to be like a month later, people are going to forget? Let me tell you what will cause change. Before racism is capitalism, hit them in their motherfucking pockets. African Americans spend a billion, uh, well, make up. What, three trillion dollars or something a year in the Yeah, yeah, spending, facts. Hit them in, hit them in their pockets. This is a capitalism world. Fuck but, that. But you know black people ain't finna listen. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. What's happening? And if I get pulled over shit, I might be Philando Castile. Oh, let me know when the chicken is ready. <laughs> Still out here, bro. Hell, if you fell off the top of that bus, Gonna be a minute then, huh? Yeah. Got the chicken seat. My man, my man hooking it up, bro. You feel me? It's peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you good? You good? We out here. You know, see the, the community cooking. It's not crazy. You know, we really gotta let them know what's going on out here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. Is that cool? I ain't trying to put my man on blast like that. If he ain't. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Show the world what we doing to the barbecue grill, huh? That's right, that's right. Just trying to make it work. Man. Yeah, you guys need any more brats or anything? Uh, Red right knife. Yeah. Look at the cooler. Guns and knife. Hey, hey, sir, is it cool if I interview you real quick? Ah, right, man, so he's been out here every day. What's your name, sir? Because I see you here every day. Huh? Marquise, man. My name is Solomon. I'm part of Solo TV 84 on YouTube. We got over 50,000 people watching us, so I'm trying to put the community in the spotlight. What have you been seeing every day compared to what the media has been portraying? Yeah. I've been seeing love, man. Yeah. I've been seeing nothing but positive energy as far as right here. I mean, this is where it all happened, man, and uh, we're putting 38 for Chicago on the map in a good light, man. It's not been known for positive things, but in this situation, it's not positive. Facts. But... You know, I believe that God knows what he's doing, man. You got a church right here, man, and the spirit of God is working in this area, man. Facts. I mean, we represent three different churches. I go to Mason, Macedonian Baptist Church on 38th and 1st, and I just feel the love in this neighborhood, man. Collectively, we're coming together, man, and we're bringing healing. It's a lot of brokenness associated with this neighborhood, man. And right, right. now, man, I feel like a change is happening, man. Right. What, what are your thoughts about... The, the media has been reporting that there might be some white supremacist groups or Antifa, you know, taking advantage of the situation by loitering and causing chaos, man. What are your thoughts on that? Because, you know, in the media, they, every time there's loitering, they always put a black face on it, right? Of course, of course. But, but most of the looters have been white people. Facts. And uh, 
and of course bad news travels fast so of course they're going to put that out there because it sells newspapers it, it, that's what you want to hear you don't want to hear the, the good stories or most people don't want to you know you want to see some drama and some gossip and all that other craziness but we ain't got that going on right here man yeah, yeah. yeah we're putting out good positive energy man into the world man and right now, this is what it is and then you, zero. you heard about the dude yesterday with the semi truck driving through now allegedly it was said that he was looking to do that purposely because he was suicidal when you hear something like that he had a, a big semi with probably right. gas or something I've seen it. does that make you think that how did he even get through that he may be an agent or do you think he's just an anomaly like just a, a random weirdo that just happened to get through like man, what are your man. thoughts i really i don't know on right. that man uh he I mean, I just through, find man. it weird how he got through. A you lot feel of me? This stuff is weird, man. But hey, what can we say, man? Right. A lot of people got hidden agendas, man, and you know, certain things happen, and you all you question, like, how did that happen? I mean, right? How are these fires taking place? I don't. I mean, I've tried to set something on fire before, but stuff right. is burning to the gravel. It's almost like it's orchestrated. Facts. So, and, and by the way, what one thing I love, I've seen a lot of. You know, I've been walking. Up and down the different neighborhoods, you know, I've been everywhere. And I see a lot of the black owned businesses, they put their signs up and they've been on touch. I love that. Man. But there's this narrative that all oh, these black people are burning down their own businesses, but I don't think it's black folks doing it. it don't seem like that. Every the, most of the pictures I've seen have been, you know, white people, and I right. don't have nothing against white people, but it seems like that's that's what's coming in and out of the, uh, the fires and whatnot. Right. When you see somebody going in one of some of the buildings, we see people coming out. It's a lot of them. And right. this is not a black or white issue, for real, for real. This is a white, this is a right and wrong issue. What Police brutality. Wrong, yeah. I don't care who you is. Your eyes tell, told you what happened, man. And that was wrong. Whether it was a black guy or white guy, it was a wrong situation, man. And right and wrong don't have no color to it. Right. La last question, man. How can people support that want to support the, the community, support you, or support the movement? Man, just come out here, man. Just, just the presence of people donating, just time, cleaning up. Uh, and I've been donating, facts. Prayer. Yeah. Most important thing, yeah. man. So, and whatever way you can do, if you see a need, man, just meet that need, man. Sometimes just standing there with somebody that's going through something is the most powerful thing you can do. You're just listening. That's why we're asking people, we got a little questionnaire, asking the people, well, how is this affecting you? We want to know from what, what's going on with the people. How is this affecting them? Because you got all type of different people here. How is this affecting you? And you're going to get different answers probably every person you ask. So we want to know how this is affecting the people because we know how it affects us as black people. We've been going through this. How is it affecting you when your eyes, when you saw that video? How is that affecting you? Thanks. All right, man. I appreciate you doing the interview, man. Oh, you know, keep rocking, man. Solo team. Down the Marco, Marco, the Marco.